Check this. Bend your ears and listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking! That tomorrow we may build! At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of hen's eggs! The Saxons know we are here, Don. The monasteries will be well guarded. Ah! By nothing more than priests and prayers, I'd wager! Sail out! Sail out! I stand ready. I stand ready. When I say the word. Oh, 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 be swift about it. Or we slay every last man and take all the time we need. Should we be so lucky?
Come here! Tree. 
All right. What is your name? May. Eivor. Something about this tree important to you? It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fall into the ground. And now, only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. Your father sounds like an honest man. Went looking for work to take care of you. He would make every effort to return home. And that is reason enough to hope. But this... It serves no purpose to fret like you are. Then what should I do? Carry on. As if he were to return tomorrow. No matter what happens to this leaf. Yes. Yes, I shall do as you say. My father would want the same. Thank you, Eivor. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer. Till the goats begin to bray, or... Yes. A little longer. That's it, then. Carry on with your life, May. Everything will be all right. One with the earth, with the air, and water, and fire, and... What is the other? Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Today, my saga is writ! Glory! Mm. Ah, a brave steed has swept me up. Onward to my loyal companion! If I don't stop him, something or someone less forgiving will. I should stay close by, wait for him to tire. My lips or my nose. Why does the sun burn so hot? There is no fight, I will flee. And should the gods answer Let's my call, so here. be it. They too will feel my wrath. I think it's no longer warm. Yes, it appears so. 
on any challenger, be it on two legs or four. Show yourself to me if you dare! I feel sick in my body, but it is my Hugur that will prevail! You keep this up, you are going to get yourself killed. Are you hearing me? Yeah! Loud and clear! Now stand aside so that I may fulfill my destiny! Yeah! There is no fight! I'm going to have to drag you back myself, huh? I have been struck by a sudden wave of... Tired. I am tired. Oh, if my mother could see me now. is complete and it is the envy of all who came before and all who are yet to come I think I can no longer walk yes it appears so Jessica, where are you? I must find my way back to you. <laughs> there is no resisting this lasting legacy I have forged. A wise man said it best. To resist is to piss in the wind. complete and it is the envy of all who came before and all your skull gods is he dead no but he should be seems the gods disagree this time splash water in his face and keep your distance he will throw up something fierce thank you for the advice and for your trouble which is now my problem <sighs> from all of you. We should return home and unload everything. Are you certain there aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My...
sing by ravens. You will so, Eivor, what's your count? My count? Dag, I've no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely Three story of wolf barely a dozen when we arrived now. No, no, you missed them. They attacked from the forest. Aid me, be my eyes. I should be cautious around here. And we good news. Ah, this is wonderful, Aver. A forge bigger and harder than my old forge back in Fornberg. Come visit me any time. For weapons and gear, there is no man better than me. I will, Gunnar. Have no doubt. <laughs> Hello, and well met.
Aitham, now that you and Basim are settled, what will you do? We have work to do, starting in the cities of England. London, Jorvik, Winchester, all three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones, to liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. I will see what I can do. will make a fine space for my work, Eivor. Thank you. Well, if your work benefits us, I will see that you keep it, for as long as you live among us. I believe it will, for we have common cause against our enemy. They have dug their claws deep into England. Eradicate them where they are strongest, and the alliances you seek will be far easier to come by. In London, they now operate without restraint. If you were to eradicate them, the city would be in your debt. I will talk with Ranri about your idea. Get her thoughts. Good. Yet, before you do, there is something else. A gift I wish to share. A gift? I cannot show you here. Will you walk with me? I will. Lead on. Hear heaviness to your breathing, Hytham. Does your wound still trouble you? It does, I'm afraid. There is a pain in my chest for which I have no remedy. Rest easy, then. So long as your mind stays sharp, you will recover. Of course. Though I am reluctant to displease my mentor. You would risk your health and your life to please Basin. That I do not understand. I should not expect you do. When we first arrived, I noted a shadow of suspicion in your eyes. A doubt. A wariness. Is that a question? No. Only an observation. Are you well enough to steer this boat? I am. Have no worry. It is only prolonged stresses that exhaust me. My energy runs low rather quickly. And what is this gift you wish to give me? It will not come from me. It is a gift you must give yourself. Goodness. What fun you are. Let me say it another way. My gift is not for giving or taking. It is a way of living. A still no clearer. It is a thing better demonstrated than described. Then I will wait. Forgive my jest. This gift we call a leap of faith. It is one of our Brotherhood's most sacred rites. It is not a tool we use against our enemies, but an act we embrace to strengthen our resolve. Like your meditation, it centers our minds, steadies our hands, and purges fear from our hearts. And more practically, it aids our movements, in flight or in stealth. You call it a leap, and we are climbing a rather steep hill. <laughs> there it is again, the shadow of a doubt. Nearly there. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me from this cliff, is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, 
You must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump? From here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Uh... Wait! And watch! Hytham! Hytham! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall. Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. Perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor. A purging of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all Hidden Ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, it is a rite of initiation that dates back to just before the birth of the Christian Jesus. Are you hoping to initiate me? I might try if I believed you would join, but that is not my purpose in England. Bassam and I are hunting larger prey. The Order of Ancients. Yes. You remember the medallion you took from Kyotve's body? That is their symbol. They are a plague, one we hope to purge from this world. Like us, they act in secret. But their aim is to rule the world, not free it from unnatural fetters. The desire to rule is not unique to this order. Sigurd and I want the same, a land to call our own, and the honor that comes with it. Do not compare yourself to such people. The order has no honor, no principles, no humanity. Yet they sit on a great many of England's thrones. If you seek to pacify England for the safety of your clan... Then it may be in my interest to give you aid. I understand. You desire alliances. We seek to rid England of its deepening rot. Where these hopes meet, our cause does too. You may think this land ruled by harmless Jarls and bumbling Thanes, yet look more closely and you will find a deeper threat. The Order's invisible hand touches all. It shapes everything, instilling its poison into every level of society. From the lowliest fishmonger to the richest merchants, from wealthy thanes to useless kings, the Order has corrupted all! Bassam has given me one task here. To locate and eliminate the Order of Ancients in England, in whatever dark corners they reside. If we work together towards this end, it will benefit us both. You will have greater influence over the kingdoms of England. And you will have more medallions to count. Exactly. You should begin in London. I have credible reports that the Order is working now to seize the city. I will speak with Ranbury about this. And while you are there, be on the lookout for our symbol. Centuries ago, the Hidden Ones had bureaus built around England. There were six, I believe. If you can find them, search them well for documents bearing the same symbol. It will greatly aid my studies. I will. Thank you, Hatham, for all of this.
Survey the area, Sunan. Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories. Eivor! In here! What will you keep in this room? My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. A bed better than many I've slept in, and a good place to recover. A letterbox for messages and requests. Hmm, not much. Hmm, not much. But it is mine. to ride at a moment's notice. Count on it, my friend. The path ahead is bright. With glory at its end. Farewell, Eivor. But why now? Doug, please. This must be done. Yes, and I... Morning, Eivor. Rowan. Look at me. Look at these arms. I am a beast. I've no horses I can spare. What was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. There you are. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to expand our presence in England. He wants to forge alliances, iron-clad, with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. 
We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leather to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. And what's more, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with contacts of his own in the cities. I added his information to the map if you would like to know what he has discovered. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me about Grandebritshire. A force of Danes, called the Summer Army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma, if we hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. We'll leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Garden blood tooth. The circus make fierce foes, but powerful allies. His strength would bolster our settlement. I should seek him out. Well, coming after, Stirman. To the waves. We must row in these waters. Strike up a tune.
Bring the mask down. Vandri mentioned this place, the last known location of the Summer Army. What has happened here? Who is asking? Eivor, of the Raven Clan. Did you and your men fail to take the village? No. No, we had it for a time. It was nothing but a cluster of waterland daub huts when we came. We made it lively. Grantbridge was a thriving hub of trade and song under the care of Soma Ayalskona. But the Saxons took it back. They appeared within the city as if rising from the shadows and drove us out. They just appeared in the city. It was like they burst out of the center of the city itself, setting aflame everything in their path, shouting some nonsense about an ancient order of warriors. By the time I saw the fires, too many of us were killed or captured. Aryasko, Masuma. She bellowed the retreat and we took refuge in the ruins. But in the chaos, we were separated. She and the bulk of our forces fled northeast into the swamps. I'd follow if we were fit to. We need her iron fist. I can find Soma. Be ready when we return. She'll be deep in the fog of the Fenlands by now. Find her longship. That's your best bet. Go, my eyes.
Like Ragnarok itself came for Grand Bridge. A great battle raged nearby. Old course. We'll see what else lies within the fog. Hey! Enemy forces stationed there! <laughs> Fighting shape. Take a walk about the camp. You're straight. Take him to the shelter for warmth. Slap some moss in that gash and wrap it well. Egil. Egil, look at me. Remember the boars you fell our first day in England. All his arms. Nine. Large and fat. Fed us for a week. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be chasing more in a month, my friend. You come like a Valkyrie out of the fog. We have no dead to give you. You must be Soma. Let's talk elsewhere. Give them a chance to rest. Quite a hit you took. How many were lost? It's kind of you to ask, but with so much blood in the water and death on the air, I'd know your name and purpose first. Eivor of the Raven Clan. I came for you, looking for a friend and ally. I see. I'm Soma, Lord of Grandbridge. 
Though it seems an order of lunatics wishes to strip me of that title. The Order of the Ancients? Sounds right. The Saxon called Wigmund is one of them. He robbed me of my city, forced us into these swamps. I've rallied some of my soldiers, but my three advisors are missing. If we hope to retake Grand Bridge, I'll need them at my side. Tell me about them. They are my best, my inner circle. Bena, Galin, leave. We may as well be of the same blood. If I can reunite them and retake your city, can I call you a friend and ally? If you can do all that, you can call me whatever you want. Where's this Wigmund? What does he want? He's a flailing elderman under the old king. A bitter man digging his fingernails into Grant Bridge, just to say he can. He's made many attempts to unseat me before. This time he managed a trick. What happened to Grand Bridge? The elder man Wigman seized it from us. I'm not sure how he managed, but he will not keep it. Not for long. He has supporters outside the city. But this attack seemed to come from inside the walls. From the heart of Grand Bridge. Let's find your advisors. Agreed. We'll look for signs of their longboats along the river. And if we are swift, we will find them before the wolves do. The fog is more hindrance than hiding place now. Let's light the way back. Bright wolf of the branch, and guide Soma's gilded warriors home. What do you see, Sunim? I know what you must think. What must I think? That it's foolish to search the Fenlands for so few people. You told me the soldiers you lost were your best. Vital to retake in the city. Do you think it's foolish? Not at all. Then why would I? You have the look of one who does well with solitude. You're alone, a wanderer. It may be you think of soldiers as war fodder and little else. But these warriors are more than a blade and shield. They are my family. Nothing short. I've lost a city this week. I will not lose them too. I understand. And if your people yet live, we'll find them.
wolves. They've surrounded someone. Must be careful. Behind his shackles, wretched carrion beasts. I don't deserve this. Leave me. Run. Alan, you look terrible. What happened here? Saxons chased me into the fog, ran me smack into a nest of bandits. But Freya was on my side, and I saw them before they saw me. Are you the only one of your crew left standing? I am. I'm hardly standing myself. But with the blessings of Odin and Freya, they'll be feasting well with the gods. I've set a camp not far from here, marked by a beacon. Go there, Galen, and recover. Eivor and I will find the others. As I recover, I'll watch over the rest with a care that only Freya knows. He's a serious man, Galen. Yes, and a man of the gods. He carries them around in his mind as the tree bears its branches. It makes his mind heavy. But it keeps our spirits light, knowing the gods give us favor. of Danes held captive.
Yes. So kind. I've had quite the day. Look through the fog, Leaf. Follow the beacon. Our camp is at its base. By we'll call. return when we found Many the others. Thanks, we'll head straight to the camp and see that everyone's ship shape when you return. It's been killed. Leaf and Galen. Didn't always get along, but they've bonded since we took Grant Bridge. Sour blood between them? In a way. Both considered themselves my second, and hated the other for it. But I do not rank my family like I do my horses. Competition can mar the love between siblings for life. It can also bring out the best in people, if the fire is stoked right. Surrounding that old hut, there may be Danes trapped inside. That's right! Tire yourself out! Weak little kittens. Can't even open one bar- Sure. If my head was in a bucket of water, I'd still know. I heard someone sweeping the hearth outside. We handled it just fine. 
Thinking of starting a new town, in fact. This house being our first. Follow on, Birma. Leave the town. The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. It doesn't matter. What matters is how you lead them forward from this point on. By Thor's hammer, I am glad we're together. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look... well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the Corpse Hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Jarl's Corner. Leif, you'd outlast any Tempest. It's good to be back, Soma, all as one. And know this, that I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. Birna. I'm delighted you're alive. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours, for Grandbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather our strength and our wits, and at a break of dawn's light, we retake Grand Bridge! Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Looks like more of Soma's forces followed the beacon back to camp. 